Hi Planner friends, I'm Teresa Collins and I could not be more excited about this. If you follow me, you know that I am the biggest planner girl, but I also love notebooks. And I decided to combine three things that I'd never seen that I needed, so I designed it. So I wanted a planner that also had that I could keep notes in, but also that I could do memory keeping in. So I decided to design it myself. So what I did is this beautiful Christmas notebook planner. And first, I love that it can actually just fit in my purse. And it's an affordable way to document your Christmas even way before Christmas. So I wanna show you what I've done. Now, this is really timeless. So in the inside, it's all black and white so that you can decide what colors you want. So I have beautiful typography things that will remind you of the Christmas season. It's the most wonderful time of the year. But I've also given you like a holiday to-do list, gift ideas, and what I really love, oh, undated, calendar for November and December because if you're like me you're so busy and you there's Christmas parties there's things to do there's gifts to buy and you want to document those things so I love that and along the bottom you can even see like this one says tis the season to be merry and so I really love that so you could use it this year next year whenever you want to create your own planner and again it's all undated so you can decide I also love grid paper because if you are like me, I buy gifts in June and before that I forget about in December. So if you have a book and planner, then you have it ready and you can keep it hopefully in secret so that nobody will know what you're purchasing. So also it's really fun. It says do not open to Christmas. I also had line notebook because I thought this would be the perfect place for you to write down things for even if you're like me, I like to add photos. So there's so much room. I'm gonna just show you through because it's so cute. Fa la la. So imagine this cute book as your memory notebook and planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Now you're gonna see a couple of these in my planners and I purposely did that so that you can create whatever content you want on there. For me personally, you better believe I'm gonna do a countdown to Christmas, kind of like a daily, Christmas, December daily, and I will actually put photos here. And that's just little things I like to do. And I actually start documenting early and also, I have a place here for you to write down your traditions. If you don't write it down, you will forget. That's what I'm really a fan of in planning is that I'm writing down my intentions, I'm writing down the things that I need to do or that I, that I will do or things that I've done. So you can see there's lots of room for you to add anything you want. Um, and what I really love is this page here. I gave you a December shrunk down countdown calendar right on one of these pages. This planner is going to be amazing. I shouldn't tell you this. I did a sneak peek on my Facebook page and I had a lady who was so excited at the sneak peek. She said she was going to sell her child to get this because she wanted it. And I said, no, 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 not necessary. You will have this before Christmas. Keep your child and <laughs> everything is good. But I love that it's black and white on the inside so that you can decide what colors, what stickers. I have everything that you can use to coordinate it with my stickers, with my die cuts. Um, I have all the die cut, um, or not really die cut, I have all my washi tapes that you can easily add to it that I will be adding to mine. And what I love is that you have the simplicity of very, very simple pages, but then I've also done artwork pages where it says like happy holidays that are perfect if you want to put like a photo over those. I'll just kind of go through some of my favorite here. It says, may your days be merry and bright. And all through the book, you will see every page is different. I didn't repeat. So if you forget all the reindeer's names, just look in here. I wonder, you know, I feel bad. Rudolph is everyone's favorite, right? So, I don't know. I kind of like the name Cupid, so maybe I, I'm, I'm gonna go with Cupid. Dasher's cute too. I really love this page because it just reminds me of why are we celebrating Christmas? And for me, it's the season of giving, it's the season to remember for me who I'm so grateful for in the birth of 
our Savior Jesus Christ. And this was something that I wanted to remember in my notebook planner, as well as the month of December D. I love this so much. And so you can see there's notebook pages mixed in with typography and bows. Oh, this is a good one. Mistletoe, eggnog, gingerbread, Santa. I missed a couple, but it's really neat. Merry, merry, merry. And again, you can color in like coloring pencils if you want to color in your planner. This is full of, there's 80, I think, I think there's 84 pages that you can create your own notebook planner. And then, Dear Santa, Define Naughty. This, this page kills me. I love it. It's actually going to be my cute little um, grandson Beckett because I just painted my office black and he decided to be very creative with white out. And so I tell him that he's naughty in the best way and I love him so much. But this year, he kind of definitely is on the naughty list. But it's okay, Beckett. You're only three. You're forgiven and I love you. Joy to the world. And then the last page, you guys. This was value, value, value. I believe in giving everything I can. And so this actually, you can cut this out and you can cut out each of these little elements and add these in your notebook planner memory book. There you have it, Santa at its very best. I hope that my me designing this book, that it will help you to have a memory book that you will cherish, that you will keep, and that it will really remind you of the reason that you are celebrating this season.